2 divided by 2 is 1. Bakit 1? Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang Law of Exponents. A rule number one, a raised to zero is one. So any number or any variable raised to zero is equal to one. So mag-isip tayo ng number. So raised to zero, again, is equal to one. Yan po yung ating rule number one. So our question number one, two raised to zero is one question number two x raised to zero is one our question number three three raised to zero is one plus four raised to zero is one so, the sum of 1 and 1 is 2. So, this is our rule number 1 that a raised to 0 is 1. Our rule number 2, a raised to 1 is equal to a. Any number or variable raised to 1 will be the number itself. So our question number one, two raised to one is two. Our question number two, x raised to one is x. And number three, three raised to one is three plus four raised to one is four. The sum of 3 and 4 is 7. And this is our rule number 2 that a raised to 1 is a. Rule number 3, a raised to m over a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Tandaan natin, gagamitin natin itong formula kung ang m exponent ay mas malaki or greater than n. So, let's proceed to our question number one. Uh, tandaan natin, we will apply the rule number three kapag pariha po sila ng base. Pariha sila ng base, 2 and 2, x and x, a and a, pwede rin b, pwede rin c, pwede rin d and d, Depende po sa number or variable, basta magkapareha po ang base nila. Do not apply this rule number 3 uh, kapag hindi po magkapareha ang base. So, again, using the rule number 3. So, 2 and 2, pareha po ng base. So, 2, 7, minus 5. Again, ima-minus natin yung dalawang exponent at tandaan natin, we will apply this kapag mas malaki ang exponent sa taas or sa numerator. So, ima-minus po natin ang 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. So, copy natin yung base na 2 and then 7 minus 5, yung power is 2. So, 2 raised to 2. Or, pwede rin natin simplify to 4. Because, 2 raised to 2 is 4. Or, 2 times 2 is 4. So, our question number 2. Um, we can apply the rule number 3 because same po sila ng base. So, Kakapi po natin ang base and 5 minus 3. 
So, pwede rin ito na i-apply natin yung pinaka-basic po na pamamaraan kung paano po ito makuha ang rule number 3. So, mayroon daw limang x kasi yung exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. So, x raised to 5. So, may, uh, may limang x. So, divided by sa tatlong x. So, ika-cancel natin 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, cancel. So, ang natira, dalawang x or x squared. So, that x raised to 5 minus 3 is x raised to 2 or x squared. Our question number 3, y raised to 10 or y to the power of 10 or exponent of 10 over y raised to 8. Again, use our using by our formula number 3, kasi mas malaki po ang exponent po ng numerator kaysa denominator, i-apply natin yung exponent or rule number 3. So, we have y raised to 10 minus 8. Simplify po natin. y, 10 minus 8 is 2. So, y squared or y to the second power or y to the power of 2. So, this is our rule number 3. Sa opening ng video ko, uh, nagsabi ako that 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, bakit 1? Kasi, any number, meron talaga yung uh, exponent na 1. So, 2 raised to 1. Tandaan natin, any number or variable, mayroon talaga yung exponent na 1. By using our rule number 3, kanina po, so magkapareha po sila ng base. So, 2, 1, or raised to 1 minus 1. 1 is 0. The base is 2 raised to 0 using our rule number 1 po natin that any number raised to 0 I 1. So, 2 raised to 0 is 1. Kaya po that 2 divided by 2 is 1. Just like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I am MasterBet at your service.